Welcome to a new episode of my tutorials about GNU slash Linux and Ethernet. In today's video I will show you how you can write a UDP socket server in C. So in my previous videos I have already coded a TCP client and TCP server and today we will um, create a UDP server. Therefore let me jump into my socket folder and let's copy the TCP server and let's create a new file I will call UDP server.c. And let's open it up here. And maybe I also need a second window here for displaying some more information or for displaying some main pages. So here we have our simple TCP socket server. And what we are doing here is we are creating a socket. We are binding the socket to an address and a port. So this socket will listen on port 12345 and it will accept any incoming connections. Then we are setting the um, server into a passive mode in which it waits for connection with the listen function. And when a client connects to the server, we are accepting um, the connection. And after that, the server and the client can exchange the data. And therefore they are using the read, uh, the re um, receive or the send function as shown here. Okay, and this is the setup for a um, TCP client. Now we want to rewrite the server so it acts as a UDP server. Oh, sorry. This is a TCP server and we want to rewrite it so it can act as a UDP server. Now it's correct. And the first thing we will take a look at is the main page of the socket function. Because we have here the second argument type which specifies the type of the connections. And if we scroll down and see which types are available, you can see currently we are using SockStream. For a stream based um, transmission protocol of a TCP, but now we have to switch to a connection less unreliable message um, way of transport, which gives us the variable SOC DGRAM. So, the first thing I will change here is I will change the type from SOC stream to SOC DGRAM. Okay, the rest is just as the TCP server. So here we are binding the socket to a port. But for a UDP server, you don't need to listen and the accept function. So let me delete these lines. So these are 14, 14 lines I can delete. Instead, we can directly start receiving or sending data. So let me. So here I will. Yes, instead of the function receive, I need to use the function receive from. So here you can see receive from has the first four arguments are just the same as in receive, but you have here two more arguments. So the first one is the um, address from which you want to receive, and the second one is the length of this socket address structure because you know this struct socket address is protocol independent but we are using socket address in or the struct socket address in and this is ip version 4 dependent so we have to do a type cost here and specifying the length in the next argument okay and on a tcp server we got a client um, descriptor or a socket descriptor for the client but this we don't have for um, for a UDP server. So here we are receiving from our server's socket descriptor. So up here I can delete this client FD here. But we need two more arguments. So the first one is a pointer to our um, yeah, to the address of the client from which we are receiving data. And the last one is a pointer to the, which contains the size of this client address struct, which I have here in address len. Okay. Good. And in case this was um, successful, we can print out the IP address of the client and the port or which the client is communicating with us. And for send, everything is quite similar. So instead of send, we need to use 
send to now. And you can see once again, the first four arguments are the same, but um, send to has two more arguments, the address structure to which we want to send and the length of this address structure. And once again, here we don't use the client FD, we have to use the SOC um, FD from our server. Okay, so here we need two more arguments and I think I can copy them from here. But this is now not a pointer, it's just the length. Okay. Yep, so this is looking good. Let me try to compile it. UDP server and the output should be US. Uh, yep, here I forgot the pointer. Okay, let me correct it. So this client address here, here I have to pass a pointer. Okay, so I have to pass it the address where my client address struct is located. New try. Okay, here I forgot to change it to send to. Cannot convert pointer to a pointer type. Okay. Ah, okay, here I got the wrong one. So here it must be. Here I must pass the address to client address. This time it was correct and here I have to use the send to function instead of send. Okay, <laughs> new try. Now it's looking good and now I can start my server. So now the server is using this or is standing in the receive from um, function. So let's use netcat to start a UDP client. So for UDP I have to use the minus U option and then once again the IP address and the port of the server. Okay, now I can send something to my server. Netcat says hello. Then this here is sent to my server. The server prints out the um, client's IP address and the client's port and then it sends back the server says hello to the client and that's basically it. Okay, cool. So that's how to implement a UDP socket server in C on Linux. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.